Well, the partnership between Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney, well, I think it's safe to say it is over the two sides exchanging heated words amidst all the backlash and boycotts that were going on. What did they say? Well, we'll dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, well, that's all I can do. Hey, if you guys could, just do me a big favor. Hit that like button. It really helps us out in the algorithms of getting these videos out there to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Of course, yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. Oh, so what went on here? Well... On Thursday, June 29th, Dylan Mulvaney released a statement that was bashing Bud Light. That's right, the once great partners in this whole experiment, right, with the trans thing. And, you know, after it's been, what, three months now that this first took place. Well, Mulvaney spoke out and he just completely just turned on Bud Light saying that they have not even reached out to him one time since the whole deal first started. Not one time. And he also said this, that how could they do this to me? After everything that I've been through, after all the, you know, mean things that people have said in light of the the boycotting and everything else like that, he, he even said this, that it would be, that it's actually worse that if you hire somebody who is trans, but then you don't stand by them when the boycotts and the backlash roll in, that is worse than not hiring a trans person all together. Yeah, remember when it was all roses and everything else like that? Well, nah, not so much anymore. Well, Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch, has released a statement now back at Dylan Mulvaney. What did they have to say? Their words were very interesting. I'll get to it in a second. Really quick though, guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my ministry. If you guys enjoy my daily content here. You appreciate my work and you can help contribute with a generous donation. There's a couple of different ways you could do that. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can kind of throw me a tip with a one-time donation. It's really easy to do right from the YouTube video. You can select any amount you want, or you can join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month by going to patreon.com slash not by site news. Uh, and the Patreon is like an upgrade to my YouTube channel. It kind of mirrors the YouTube channel, except with Patreon, you'll actually get notified of all the videos. You can leave all comments there in an open free forum uh, without having to worry about YT taking down what you're saying. And you can send me direct messages. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, Anheuser-Busch Bud Light in their response to Mulvaney stated this, that Bud Light does not get it. This was funny. Bud Light does not get involved in culture wars of any kind. And instead, Bud Light is going to keep its focus on doing what they've done best for so long now. And that's brewing delicious tasting beer. Really now, Bud Light, because you were singing a completely different story a couple of months ago. You know, and look, I don't feel sorry here for either side. This is what happens when you get involved in these things, right? When all of a sudden there's a boycott and then, you know, it's, we saw it with Target too, right? When everything, everybody was doing backlash against all the rainbow stuff for the kids and everything else like that. You had that, it's the same thing. It was that, that, um, that satanic artist that had, you know, put up all the designs for that. And then Target pulled the, <laughs> pulled the merchandise and then, he went on social media and bashed Target for not standing by him. I mean, I, I, I've said this before. It's never enough for these people, you know, with the rainbow people. If you are not with them, and it's like Mulvaney said, if you are not with them through and through, no matter what, I mean, they do everything in their power to just completely make your life miserable, to out you and everything else like that. Now, should these companies be thinking about these partnerships in advance? Of course they should, but they don't. Because at the end of the day, they'd rather stand on the hill of wokeness than actually do what's right by their consumers. Even though in their response here, Anheuser-Busch Bud Light saying that, yes, we're doing what we've done for our consumers all the time. We're gonna make great product, great beer, uh, all this and that. But at the same time, they also released a statement saying that, you know, they've been, you know, locked up to the rainbow community since all the way since 1998. And they said that they will continue to support them and everything that they do. And look, and they've been, you know, supporting and sponsoring pride parades all over the country. Look, they don't care. 
Look, even though the boycott's been going on and they've been losing all this money, this is what I've been saying for so long. They're going to continue to do this. They're going to continue to stand on their hill of wokeness until they go bankrupt. If it's necessary, that's what they'll do. At the end of the day, they don't care. They can lose all the money in the world. For them, it's more about staying true to those woke causes. And even though now the partnership with Mulvaney is gone, you know, and they're now going to start feuding with each other, it's, it's not going to stop the fact that they're still going to be completely dedicated to all the rainbow causes, even if, you know, again, like I said, the Mulvaney thing is is done and over with. But it's, it's funny now to see these two feuding over this, Mulvaney accusing them of not, you know, standing, you know, at the side of Mulvaney because Mulvaney is a trans and this and that. Uh, again, I just, I don't feel sorry for any of these people whatsoever. Let the boycotts keep coming. But eventually, I got to say this to you guys, you know, this world is going to fall to the Antichrist, to the beast system. So all the boycotts in the world, you know, at that point aren't going to mean anything because unless you're part of the beast system, well, you're not going to be able to exist in society and you will not be able to buy or sell without a certain mark on your right hand or in your forehead. And let's also not forget, well, you will have to be a part of the one world religion, which I can tell you is not going to be Christianity. Well, you guys want to check out more about the Mulvaney and Bud Light situation, the feud, I will put some information in the description below with a link there. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines. Of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching me right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news here is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have some more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash news, or you can click that super thanks button down below on this video here if you prefer to make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.